good YouTube, it's your boy Legendary EA, and we are back here for another episode of the Chicago Bulls My League. If you guys missed the episode from yesterday where we did go ahead and we simmed a lot of the season, make sure you go ahead and check out that video and please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That would be very, very, very much appreciated, you guys. In today's video, we are going to be going in ahead and simming to the end of this season, you guys. And then in the episode after this, we are going to be starting the playoffs. And the next episode of this series will be the final episode of the Chicago Bulls My League. Uh, I've done, we started this in 2018. So I've done this for almost four and a half seasons, you guys. And I really hope that you guys have been enjoying this series. Let me know everything that I did well in this series and everything that I need to improve on for my next series. I pretty much heard every single team that you guys want me to use in the next series, and that will be starting up in a couple of days. Uh, I am going to go ahead and put a and put a poll in the description below. I did have a poll on, on my last video, but I just decided I'm just going to use straw poll and just add in all of the teams that you guys wanted me to actually do, and the teams from the last time. I do got to say that in the last video's poll, the Phoenix Suns was winning, but I'm going to make a completely new poll, and this is the one that I'm going to be going off of. Now, just because something has the most votes, it does not mean that I'm going to actually do it. I'm just pretty much going to be gauging the interest and just seeing what you guys actually, like, want to see. So, make sure you go ahead and vote in the description below. And if you guys want to see the final episode of this series, which is going to be the playoffs, and hopefully we can go back-to-back -back in that video, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button. And let's get 200 likes, man. That's the goal. That is the goal. And I just cannot wait because like because like I said, I do have all the updated rosters. Um, the only thing that I, I got to work on for this new roster are the jersey numbers. But honestly, I might just leave those alone. But hey, man, we are on a nine-game winning streak, and we have a record of 45-7. and seven. This team has been dominating the entire NBA, and they're looking at going back-to-back. -back. Personally, the only people that I see us having a problem with is the Boston Celtics and the entire NBA. Yes, the Sun. Yes, the Mavs are good with Dennis Smith. We gave them Zach Levine. They got Nas Little. Actually, who? Oh, what? Thomas Bryant. They they must have had this man in the G League for like forever. This man is a 90 overall. I just realized that. Diamond Stone is an 89. What? People who are chilling in the G League are getting OP. Sheesh. This seems actually not. This seems actually not that bad. I think that we would destroy them. But they ain't that bad, dog. They ain't that bad. All right. As far as MVP's votings, it's kind of been fluctuating. Um, it's normally between DeAndre Aiden and Mo Bamba. Hopefully, Bamba wins it. He, two seasons ago, he finished runner-up. Last season, he finished, like, in fourth place. Um, looks like we're not going to be getting Rookie of the Year. RJ Hampton spent most of the season coming off the bench as a sixth man. Isaiah Todd or Jalen Green looks like they're going to be getting that. Looks like they're going to be getting those kind of awards. We do have RJ Hampton for six man of the year. He's been dominating off of the bench, and hopefully he takes that thing home. And defensive player of the year, Mo Bamba, he don't got to be carrying the defensive load anymore. So he's finishing off third right there. All-star voting, Klay Thompson, um, Laurie, Bamba, he's definitely going to be in the all-star game. So let's just see how all of that goes, man. But yo, just let me know what you guys think about this series. I really do appreciate all of y'all's input, man. That's all I'm going to go ahead and say. Trade deadline now. Originally, I was going to trade Gary Trent Jr., but since this is the final season, I might as well keep him on. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I might as well keep him on in case we actually need some more help, but he's probably not going to be playing once the playoffs start, just to be real with you. I, 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 wanna, I might want to get that uh, that uh, rookie that we drafted in there a little bit more, but we're just going to go ahead and see, man. I cannot wait to, I cannot wait to start this next series because... I do want to go more in depth because I, I feel like with this series, obviously there there was less episodes. I, I played a lot less games, and this next series, I'm gonna pretty much do it like the series I did before, where I do a lot of GM things, but I also play a lot of games as well. I think that you guys would actually enjoy that. I think that you guys would. I think that you guys would actually enjoy that way. I think I've gone 50. I think I went 50 in my Mavs one. So we're going to try to do that again with the next one with all of the updated rosters. It's going to be lit. It's going to be lit, man. We have, we have all of the rooks. But in this game, we torched the Sixers that I didn't, in a way that I did not think that was possible. Beat my 56 points. Dropped 40, nearly 50 points in the second quarter. And then 30 and 30 in the third and fourth. We are OP. Marketing with 33 points. Hampton with 23 and 7 off the bench. Clay Thompson with 23, 4, and 5, and Bama with 19 and 12. 
and two blocks. Okay. Not that bad. As far as they go, eh, they got ran through. All right, but let's just go ahead and let's sim right here. And let's see who's in the All-Star game. And then after that, we can go ahead and check out all of the awards and who we're going to be taking on in this next game in the actual playoffs. All right, so was Clay Thompson in the All-Star? I know that he didn't make it last year. All right, Mo Bamba is starting in the All-Star game, so I might want to hop into that. But other than that, we get nobody else. Um, nobody in the dunk contest. The three-point contest, we got Clay Thompson and Laurie Markkinen. Clay shooting 44% from the three. And Laurie's shooting 45% from the three. So that's W. The Rising Stars, it looks like we ain't got nobody. And we got RJ Hampton on the elites. Okay, okay. This team is actually, like, dominating. Yo, see, Diamond Stone was not there. This man, was, he was in the damn G League. Wow. Mo Bamba's still, so he's still locking up that MVP. Aiden has fallen off. Hampton is is rising up in the, in the rookie of the year. He's still six man. We got Jello. We made you, man. We made you most improved. All right, but let's actually hop into that All-Star game, though, man. Let's let's hop into that All-Star game. All right. All right, but let's just see who won. I know Klay Thompson has, has won uh, a three-point contest. All right, all right. Uh, let's see. Zion won the dunk contest. Um... Steph Curry won, won the three-point contest. All right. And, yeah, we are still number one in the, in the power rankings because teams cannot take us down. 50 and 9. Dog. I, I just wish that we could have actually had, had a chance at breaking the Warriors record. But, yeah. um, uh, Let's go. Aiden and Bamba are, 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 are both starting. Markel Fultz, is this his first All-Star game? This is his second. This is going to be pretty interesting, man. Let's hop into this game. We're going to the fourth quarter as usual. Hopefully the East can take this thing home. It's kind of a close game. Okay, this is this is a so really close game. There's about three minutes left. We are up. How is my boy doing? Twelve and five. He's shooting pretty good. He only missed one three. And Aiden is not completely like destroying him. But let's hop in this game and let's see if we can get some gameplay real quick. And then we'll head on to the end of the season and look at the awards because we only got two more episodes of this series. And yo, man. It's been lit doing this. All right, you guys, it's game time. Let's see what we got going. All right, Bamba is, is in the game. And I also have a brand new series coming. Uh, I might as well announce it right now. I do have a brand new series. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to start it by Tuesday. Hopefully, I can get it started by Monday. But it's probably going to be coming out on Tuesday. We're going to have to go ahead and see. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, for that new series, it's I I honestly think that it's gonna be fun. Um, it's gonna be something that I haven't done in a really really long time. So hopefully that whole thing works out. That should have been a block. But yo, it's I'm gonna try to get that thing out in a couple of days. All right, honestly, I'm trying to have fun. We we have about five points. I need to get bombed with that MVP. Watch out, Kawhi, can't stop me. Oh my gosh, when when talking ish goes bad. Come on, let's stop playing with him. Come on, come on. This man is 7-1. Come on, let's go. Okay, this Kyrie's defense is horrible. That's probably going to go in. Give me that. This man is OP. Ooh, watch out. Ooh, watch out. Give me that. And one. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Bagley. Come on, Bamba. You got to finish around the rack. And we can't hit the free throws. Dang, I can't make nothing. And we almost missed that, too. All right. On, on some real stuff, I want Ben Simmons at point guard. Um, I want Fultz right there. I want Bear right there. I'm trying to play with players that I actually want to play with. LeBron, I want to play with Giannis. Whenever I, whenever I'm playing with Giannis, like I'm playing now, I just wreck everything. I mean, playing with LeBron is cool as well. Like, it's honestly, you know what? Forget it, Le LeBron. You're staying in, dog. And he, he was getting cocky, too. Come on, Dame Dollar. Get that wee stuff up out of here. Dog. All right. Let's call a timeout. I really want to play with certain players. um, Because no matter what, we're, we're, no matter what, the East is going to win this. So I might as well play with the people that I want to play with. All right. Come on. Oh, my. You, you didn't roll. 
You didn't roll. What? Dog. I was not trying to take it. I wanted you to roll. I know I should have finished it, but I was really set on me throwing an oop. And you ain't roll, dog. So I don't know what to say. I probably should have went for like the dunk. Actually, I really should have, but I was trying to be like cold, and I, I'm really not like that. So I don't know why I even did it in the first place. Dude, Mo Bamba has to do something, dog. Let's try this. Not okay, LeBron. Not no, 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 no. You send me that screen. Never mind. That's just not gonna work. Watch out, James Harden. Oh, that's way too deep. Oh, I'm tripping. If you guys, if you guys are brand new, normally I'm not like this in 2K. I'm actually like decent at the game. I'm not the coldest, but I'm pretty decent at it. I don't do bonehead things like I'm doing in this gameplay right now. F forget it. Dog. Oh my gosh. It made me pull up. All right. Ideally, let's get this into Bear's hand. All right, that's game. Like, that was some pretty bad gameplay. I might hop into another game, but we win by one point. Don't really matter because LeBron got the MVP, not even Mo Bamba. All right, so after that, let's just go ahead and... What's, what's, what's an interesting game? Do we, do, do we play Dallas again? All right, we don't play Dallas again. And I'm not really fearful of any of these other teams. So let's just get Simi, man. I got y'all some, like, gameplay... Some 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 really mediocre gameplay, but nonetheless, it's some gameplay. Um, what happened? Did we lose a player in the rotation or something? All right, uh, hold on. All right. Oh, that's where the minutes were, are from. No, calm down. There we go. All right. All we gotta do is just hope that we ain't, that we don't get no injuries. That's the biggest thing. We cannot afford injuries. If we get hurt. If, if, like, Mo Bamba or Klay Thompson gets hurt, it's honestly a wrap. <laughs> like, it's honestly a wrap for the entire series. So, we just got to hope that though that those guys stay healthy. And we should be good to go. We should be good to go. This team is very, very good, though. And I know that this series wasn't completely... This series was, was, this series was not completely realistic, but I plan on merging the way that I did this series and the way that I, I did it with my other series. There's going to be a lot more games during each season, probably like, probably, probably three or four games each season, along with a couple of trade episodes, along with just a lot of things, man. A lot of things just to make it a lot, a lot more entertaining. I might even start it off with like a preseason game. I think that'd be lit. And a lot more editing instead of me just talking. Um, we're gonna try to do a lot more different things with this next series just to make it lit for y'all And I do want to hop in this game versus Atlanta Because uh, we are gonna blow them out. Who do they even got? Thomas Mikel Bridges, RJ Barrett I'm not gonna waste my time. I lied. I'm, I, I shouldn't wait. I should not waste my time with that But at the end of the season, Mohamed Bamba finally gets that MVP He's so long Wanted he averaged he averaged 19.9 points a game 12.4 rebounds 2.4 blocks while shooting 54% from the field and 37% from the three His worst year scoring and he finally gets the MVP. He's already won a championship. He's already been finals MVP He gets his very own MVP And I think that he deserved it man This man led the best team in the NBA and he was just completely overpowered Nobody nobody was stopping him. He reached his potential. Rookie of the year goes to Isaiah Todd. He was the number one overall pick. He averaged 17 points, eight rebounds. He was doing his thing. RJ Hampton, we finally get a six man too. Last year, I was trying to like get Miles My Bridges the six man, but we got it with RJ Hampton. He's also a rookie. He averaged 13 points, 6.6 .6 assists, one and a half steals while shooting 49% from the field and 43 from the three. This man was OP, man. He was OP, and I really wanted him to start to be real with you. This man was just cold. He was, he was just cold. All right, next up, Drummond wins Defensive Player of the Year. And most of it goes to LiAngelo. Look, dog. We, so Jello got it. Trayvon Duvall got it the uh, season before. Any player that we let go of, they go on and, and win most improved. And Coach, it goes to Mark Jackson as our team goes 67-15 and 15 for the best record in the NBA. And we're looking at going back-to-back. All-NBA first team. It's Ben Simmons, John Wall, Giannis Antetokounmpo, LeBron, and Mohamed Bamba from the Bulls. 
The second team is Curry, Luka Doncic, Kevin Durant, AD, and Andre Drummond. Third team is Kyrie, James Harden, James Harden, Marvin Bagley, Kawhi Leonard, and Joel Embiid is hurt. Let's go. They are not a threat. <laughs> they are not a threat anymore. Okay, not that bad. All defensive first team, nobody for my team is on it. Se se second team, we get nobody as well because this year it was Aiden and Drummond at, at that center at that center position. All rookie first team, we got RJ Hampton. Um, I like that. We, and we also had, if you guys did not remember, we had we we had a red shirt rookie as well that we held out like much of the season. I don't, I don't think that he even played a game for us. Yeah, Jalen Johnson. He didn't play a game, but he's an 83 now. I'm not going to use him because we don't need him. Actually, I might want to get some gameplay with him since this is the final season. But, man, I really hope you guys enjoyed this series, man. Next episode, we are going to be simming through the entire playoffs. And hopefully, we can go back-to-back -back as, as NBA champions. Predict how many games. How many games. Predict where you guys think that we are going to finish off our season and in how many games and if we're winning or losing. In round one, we're taking on the, the Brooklyn Nets. They have D'Angelo Russell, and I've never seen him not to, Oh, he's hurt. I was, I was about to say, normally he's, he's like a 90, and he is, but he's hurt. What, what's wrong with him? He's he's there today, so he's me good. But they have D'Angelo Russell, Will Barton, Ronnie Hollis Jefferson, Pascal Siakam, Bol Bol. Is he hurt? Oh, he's not. Jared Allen, Jay Crowder. Yo, we're about to, we, if we don't sweep this team, why, like, this is such an easy first round matchup. Like, it's such an easy one. And then in round two, if we take on Philly, Joel Embiid is hurt. Who's their backup? Their backup center is Nerlens. The Bucks are probably a, a better, a, a better match because they have Trey Young. All right, the Bucks are honestly kind of cold. All right, but. All right, but anyways, uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you go ahead and like up this video, and of course, hit that subscribe button. We are looking to to go back to back as NBA champions, and hopefully, we can make it happen, man. And just for the sake of it, man, we are gonna let this man play. He's been redshirted the entire season. Let that man play. Let him play. He, he's he's playing nine minutes now. He's playing nine minutes. He went ninth overall. I want to see what he's capable of. So, Gary Trent, I'm sorry, dog. I'm sorry. I, I want to see what the rookie can actually do. Oh, yeah. And we also got this center as well. I completely forgot about him. He's a 77. He's a 79 now, and he's 75. I want to see him in the game as well. Let's see what this team can actually do. I, I'm actually very, very curious. I think it's going to be very, very interesting. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. I am out. Peace, y'all.